Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Benjamin and Laura. Guys, welcome back to welcome the back to the Rick Rick podcast. Welcome what back was to the that? Rick Bell podcast. <laughs> welcome, guys. So happy to have you here. Go ahead and tell them what we're talking about today, buddy. You tell them. Okay, I, I, I guess I am the about. introduction person. So today we are going to talk about. What are we talking about? Nationalities. Nah. Us being an interracial, interracial couple. Interracial couple. ASMR Ooh. style. No, about interracial couple. Oh, oh my gosh. Go. Interracial couple, di- interracial. being of different backgrounds, of different nationalities, of different ethnic backgrounds. So you guys might not know. Might not know. For the first time viewers, welcome. First time viewers, welcome, welcome. So welcome. that's actually so. Our channel name is Rick Nam. Rick Nam. And Rick that Nam. is because he is Puerto. I'm Puerto Rican. Rican Rick, and I am Vietnamese. No, Nam. Nam. Vietnamese. Vietnamese, Puerto Rican, hence the Rick Nam. Rick so that's where we pulled the theme of our channel. channel. Go, go. Oh boy, if you don't go somewhere with that. <laughs> so yeah, no. So uh, what uh, where are we going with this? So let basically, know, let I actually wanted to start off with was it be was it. Different us being married and of different ethnic ethnicity backgrounds. Background. Did that affect our marriage? Did that kind of, you know, was that a surprise to your family? Kind of a little bit about our backgrounds. If you guys uh, watched the video, my mom from the jump said that she wanted Laura to be my wife. Which video um, are we talking gr- about? The marriage one, the one we got, our wedding one our that's wedding on our video? channel. Okay. <clears throat> She's like, oh, at first time met her, I I like her. I said, I want the girl like her for my daughter, for my son or something okay, like that. Okay, one thing you guys, he always tries to impersonate <laughs> people and fails so badly. I'm like, why but would you, nah, I don't, even don't know why you I did ever that. impersonate me because that but is not your strength, baby. Basically, <laughs> nah, I feel like it didn't really matter that we got, um... With each other being from different backgrounds and stuff, um, I mean it's super different, you know, like your heritage and your culture and whatnot. Especially when you go to Vietnam and you get to see Laura's family and their el- natural element. Um, so you could talk a little bit about that if you want to. So we both that have, was rough. Yeah, you know, I mean it was more rough. Hold on one second. So we both have traveled to each other's oh, yeah, we motherlands. Have. We, we went to each other's motherlands, other so than the main e- main motherland, which is Africa, of course. Of course, we but to, I'm talking um, about. I've been to uh, Puerto Rico. He's to see, been to Vietnam. We went there together. Island. So yeah. So you could tell him about your Vietnam experience. My In Vietnam 20, experience. Was it 2018? We went. It was a few months before we got married, right? 2017, 2018. Was it 2017 something or around there in that yeah. gap. But 2017, 2018, I went to Vietnam. It was, as you guys can see also in that video, um, it was more, I felt like they were pretty laid back. Describe, you know? You're describing the culture? Yeah, Vietnamese people were pretty chill, not too, not too fancy, you know, regular, regular, not in a bad way. You know, they were relaxed. They kind of had their normal practices of life but um something that i found that was of course troubling for me was uh not troubling i mean something a little difficult was the language barrier but with time i understand certain words now that um i'm picking up um still don't know how to complete sentences by ear not yet but you know due time in marriage um um they are catholic and me being a Christian, um, there's similarities there other than Maybe uh, try not to shake the table. I think that shakes the yeah, camera. Yeah, other than uh you know, we don't really pray to statues and stuff. But besides that, I feel like it's been easy. It hasn't been too rough. It hasn't been too nothing that I'm not used to. Um But now nah, what do you got? What do you what do you think? So basically, I feel like one of the major, well, major differences, but like in, I guess this oh, also, this is one. not just our countries. This also, we're talking about the nationality and groups and people as a whole, but really it comes down to, of course, people as individuals. Yeah. But I feel like as a culture, Vietnamese people are very, very work driven. They're very yeah. devoted. Like they live and breathe work, like out of survival. 
but yeah most of my cousins they work 10 12 hour days but like they are really like if it's normal one thing about there. The, yeah it's normal to be like i feel like from the jump like if you are not a hard worker you're lazy and there's kind of like no i feel like there's no like no balance yeah over it's kind of like it's oh, kind of like you're either it's kind of yeah lazy. you're either lazy or you're a hard worker it's not really like a work-life balance in the culture yeah i know i've seen that um one thing that i did find that was a little strange is not strange but i feel like when it comes to vietnamese people they when it comes to showing their love, they feed you. You know, they make sure you're taken care of and you're good. That's me demonstrating yeah, that I love me, you. Oh, and there's something. Are Puerto you talking Ricans about? are affectionate. Yeah. Give me a hug. Give me a kiss. Blah, blah, blah. But being a, like when I Vietnamese went to Vietnam. Vietnamese people are not touchy, touchy. Yeah, when I went to Vietnam, I'm here hugging on these folks like, yo, what's up? Like when you go to Puerto Rico and you visit someone's house, they want to give you hugs and stuff. That's how they say hello. You know, so I'm hugging her aunt, her uncles, her cousins, all of that stuff. And they're looking at me like, what they the didn't, heck? They is, didn't even know how to receive it. They a didn't hug. even know how to receive it. But later on, I noticed that they got used to me and they started approaching me as in like, oh, oh doing this <laughs> and, 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 and being more uh, open to it. And, but because I think at first they're like, what's wrong with this kid? You know, he's mad, high, strong. But then once they realized that it's a love language, they kind of, I noticed that they kind of started, they're awkward still, you know, like, oh, and like <laughs> smile a little bit about it. Like, oh, yeah, like they're taking it. At first, they were it like. It took them as a shock. Kinda. At first, they're here kind of like. They didn't get, know how to they receive They get stiff it. how my dog looks when she's wearing clothes. <laughs> you know, they kind of get stuck a little bit. But in due time they started loving it and receiving it and then giving me a little bit of hugs not in clothes not a close arm hug but you know a little side they pat kinda like side pat you know you know they start patting you in the back like they're going to release you here in a second <laughs> but besides that there was there was no really different what you what, what what else you got so i guess jumping over to the puerto rican aspect which i i love the puerto rican culture i love it love it love it um very warm, very embracing, very loving individuals. Like I am, I definitely am so happy I married into a great family. Um, but yeah, Puerto Ricans are so warm and so family centered and they just love to have a good time. Like I definitely love the Puerto Rican culture. I definitely gravitate towards it because when I first met Benjamin, I was kind of more of a workaholic, so to speak. And I think I've kind of found some balance in that like enjoy life work don't just work your life away and i definitely yeah. and i have incorporated a lot of stuff into my life dude like i mean was it prior or post meeting benjamin prior to me prior wait wait what prior do you is before or before, after before okay prior after what do you what are we what are you so basically you after i met you I started incorporating more of like a work-life balance. It took know, a while. I don't know why we're using terms because I you lost. Me. I lost myself, boy. <laughs> <laughs> but so, yeah, no. I someone definitely feel like y'all understood. Yeah, no. I just love that Puerto Ricans love to have a good yeah. time. Whereas, I mean, also Vietnamese people. No, Vietnamese lo people love to like have to a good time, good time and karaoke too, and drink beer too. So I, I can't talk. Time with That's just my parents. My parents are low-key workaholics, y'all. I'm just yeah, gonna but put no. That out I mean, there. I feel like it's just uh, it it it's it's in the mindset. They definitely came from something rough. Yeah. You know, meeting my buddy and Huang, which is uh, my Lord, cousin, Lord's my oldest cousin. Co my I'm oldest not going to get too much into detail about uh, what he told me because that's private. Eventually, we'll have a podcast episode in Vietnam and he can he can speak on his own because I know he'll enjoy that. My man oh, he would love it. My man loves to uh, he loves speaking English. And I love that about him. Um, but uh, but like even as he was telling me, he had some rough times growing up. You know, yeah, the struggle. He got to see the, cause he's the older, older cousin. So he's in his thirties, um, latest thirties, right, thirty five, thirty six, something like that. So he got to experience Laura's grandma, Laura's mom in their youth. As you know what I mean, when he was a teen, they were a young yeah. adults. You know, so he got to tell us a little bit about why are they, why are they, why they work so hard. What is it? You know what I mean? Especially as soon as they got the opportunity, why they're running so fast to the finish line, you know? And and I respect that, you know? So I know that us as a, as a, as a culture, we're so embracive. 
and um we you know it's i feel like we're 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 trying to make sure that we we continue keeping our culture alive you know yeah, as I was people say, traveling back going back to what you're saying basically it was hard for them to find fun whenever they're busy just trying to survive and that's, yeah, that's one thing that's why i say it goes back to also not just but as, it's a, a, people as a, peop- thing. It's as a people, people thing. group but they're just so I, busy trying to survive that they can't even focus on enjoyment in a way yeah. like they're just trying to you can't really have fun when you're thinking about your next meal and how you're going to make it day to day you know so yeah. i get that so a lot of and you know like where my family fr- is from we're from the south and a lot of people in the south more are farmers villagers they kind of live very minimal they kind of grow their own produce it's really a self-sustaining um Type civilization of li- lifestyle. yeah lifestyle like so I can understand that too, but but no. Besides that, um, I feel like you know one thing that we never really had a hard time. Me and Laura also is because what um what what are the religions that are in Vietnam? There's Buddhist, right? It's really Buddha Buddhism <coughs> and Catholicism is the okay. two major religions <coughs> in Vietnam. And I feel like the fact that me and Laura have share the same belief in God, and uh. With more of a Christian inspiration or Christian... Like a Christ foundation, really? Rooted. No, because I feel like they would say it's... Catholic would say it's Christ type too. But um, it kind of has that... The the, the the Jesus... The pertaining to Jesus is not... You know, we're not so wrapped up with the Marys and all that. So it gives us, we're never really, we never really have a a place there to argue about. So I feel like it's natural. You know what I mean? We don't have that, uh, you know. I was brought up Catholic, guys. She grew up Catholic. Just a really random PSA. So that's why I I say we don't really have that moment to argue because, or or discuss or, or disagreements on that area because we both kind of still even though she was catholic once upon a time growing up i feel like she still has her own that she found in her in her own deciding in her own to 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 kind of walk towards christianity if that makes sense i still tell this day i don't really i don't know i don't title myself a christian yeah but that's why i'm saying that's why i said like in that area in that arena you know and it's not even about the it's, I try to stay away from a religion, guys, to be yeah, honest so it's with like, you. I just I don't like that category Baptist. All that I'm like, hey, be what you want, but at the end of the day, only but it's Christ still is Christ saving you. centered. So yeah, that's what Christianity that's is. Where it is yeah. That's what we mean by that. It's Christ centered. There's more Christ centered than Mary and than the than all the There's saints. saints. There's a lot all of the saints, saints and in all the that. Catholicism We're just practice. strictly Christ and if Christ needs us to do something, that's where we're at. So we never really had that disagreement like friction barrier there. no friction we don't have to worry too much about that though i like i've been to uh temples one time to lay her grandma to rest and and you know with respect to my belief i kind of had to keep it minimum while i was there because i had to honor god but i wanted to respect the family too so i feel like in that area we both see eye to eye um, so that's never been a thing, you know. That's never been something that we kind of like have a uh, have a uh, what's that called? Disagreements. Yeah, disagreements. Really. But besides that, Vietnamese, I've n- spit something because I didn't. I'm not. I need to. I need to. You need to grab your thoughts. I yeah, I had to grab a thought on that. Yeah, so basically us being an interracial couple, I don't think we ever had any problems with it. I think back in the day, my parents used to always want me with a guy who was Vietnamese just because there would be a language barrier. I think that was like their biggest fear was the fact that they would not be able to communicate with whoever I'm with. Because my parents, I mean, my grandma barely spoke a lick of English. My mom speaks very minimal English. I mean, enough to for you to understand her. But I think that was really the only reason they wanted me to be with a Vietnamese guy is just because... They wanted to be able to talk to him and like for have instance, family time, you know. For example, while Laura's saying that, her dad, her stepdad, or her the man who raised her, calls me. My name is Benjamin. Clearly, he calls me Gavin. He calls me Gavin because Benjamin's <laughs> too hard for him to say, and Gavin rolls off his tongue easily. So I don't know where he got Gavin from, but I'm Gavin to him. Her mom used to call me Sinjamin. Sinjamin and Cinnamon. Cinnamon, Sinjamin. I'm like, Laura's like, you know that's not his name. I'm like, hey, it's easier for them. Just leave it alone. 
<laughs> you know, I don't really have a problem with that because I, I understand, like, even my family doesn't all speak perfect English. You know, some of them have harder times. Um, but, it, I mean, it, it's something that I feel like what I do enjoy about interracial relationship, our interracial relationship, not open to others. That's what I had to <laughs> let that. Just putting that no. out there. We're monogamous. Um, but basically, <laughs> uh, how to let, uh, I enjoy the fact that it's two different worlds, two different mindsets, two different backgrounds, two different styles just working at once. And it's kind of like, I feel like what kind of, what kind of heaven kind of has a vibe like. So it's kind of, it's kind of cool, you know, to know one day my baby's going to be a little mixed Asian Spanish kid, you know, and, and, and it's, 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 it's kind of you know it's kind of like a melting like a melting pot of of blends and different um different roots kind of a little bit of everything you know which I think that's pretty dope I never really had I don't know I don't think my mom really cared who I got with you know I don't think she really, she really cared. cared I can't think about that you yeah know? did you have a type growing up did I have a type uh <laughs> I remember the first girl that I did like and this was when my parents were together back maybe four years old four years old in pre-k i used to like this cambodian girl she was asian looking she's an asian, asian Cambo cambodians are asian um she hit me with a block and that yeah. was it no more i didn't like her no more but did i like have a type i didn't really care as long as she was a pretty girl with brains i was straight you know what I mean? Gotta have that noggin on lock. It's not even about <laughs> it's not even about brains and that she she can't be stupid. That's jacked up. Of course not. I don't think everyone's no one's stupid. Everyone just has their degree of smartness. You know, everyone has their levels. You can't expect everyone to be uh, an Elon Musk. You know, that's fine. You know, that's part of life. But did I have a type? No, I felt like as long as she was respectful and she really cared about what she stood for. Because at the end of the day, I am. I represent Laura when I'm not with her, you know, and I do act up. I have my moments where I can be ignorant, you know, and childish, but I got to always remember I represent Laura. So if I'm a, I'm out and about acting like a fool, I made my wife look bad, you know, um, the same way as she acts a fool, see someone try to get hood on them, which I can't see. Um, it's going to make me look bad. Like, oh, look, at that's his wife. Oh, that's her husband. And it's not that we're trying to, like, keep this wall of, oh, my God, we're perfect because we're not perfect. But you got to have respect for yourself at the end of the day. That's So I feel like as long as the girl that I looked for had a respect, you know, respected herself, I was happy with that. How about you? Did you have an identity <laughs> that you wanted your certain person to look like? Um, You can continue. I'm going to go grab a glass of sun to drink. Oh, there's I can still hear you. Oh. No, that's fine. Okay, I'm okay. orange juice. I ain't got no type. No. <laughs> no, guys, let me tell you what, real quick, random. Well, I guess it has to be on topic. Listen, y'all, my type was everywhere. I had, like, every kind of type. Like, I was attracted to no two dudes looked the same, I feel like. I guess I kind of low-key gravitated toward Hispanic dudes, but, like, I really... It came down to personality for me. Like, it really did. Appearance, I was really open to. His nationality, any background, all that stuff. But I really was like, I just want someone that's, like, nice, caring, loves the Lord. But I know myself. Like, I'm a strange gal. Like, I'm unique, y'all. I, I had my first boyfriend. I was 17, 18. But, like, prior to that, I had not dated anybody. But I just know myself as a person. I'm just really unique. And I... And Benjamin and I talk about it all the time, but I'm like, I'm really weird. He's like, don't worry, me too. I'm really weird too. So it's I, funny. I <laughs> I never, I didn't know what the heck I was gonna get into. <laughs> I really didn't, cause I know that I'm um, I have a certain way of being, and if you can't take it, you're gonna get tired. And I like being annoying. I enjoy being oh childish. My God. I really do. I tell my coworkers all the time, so forgive me ahead of time, y'all. I love teasing. I love bothering. I'm a little brother um, to one sister, but still, like, I enjoy that. I, I, I have a blast just laughing by myself, bothering people. But um, besides that, no, I, I'm... It's uh, it's definitely a, a, a roller coaster being mixed uh, 
But I feel like me and Laura don't. That was kind of. Um, me and Laura don't kind fit, of fit the mold. No, we don't go as even though I'm Puerto Rican and I love being Puerto Rican. I feel like every Puerto Rican just embraces that fully. It's just uh it's just something that it's not even about being prideful about it. It's be, it's having pride in it, you know. Um we have pride in it. We we're, we're taught that you know, we don't try to be better than no one. At the end of the day, we try to stay as be- better than our old self. But we have we have this thing that you know, like we're raised being confident in that, like thankful, you know what I mean? We we're blessed at the end of the day. I I thank God being Puerto Rican because we're one of the only ones born with papers, you know. So I have um I feel for people who don't have their green cards or or none of that or illegal <clears throat> because I know that that has to be tough, you know. So at the end of the day, we take so much pride in being Puerto Rican because. You know, even though there's there's some dirty history and all that, which is none of my business to speak about politics and stuff. But um, but we we take pride in that. But even though, like I was going to say, we don't I don't run full full force with culture, culture, culture. You know what I mean? Like, oh, so it I don't have my identity in that. You know what I mean? I try to keep my identity in Christ. And everything ever, everything else around it, because I don't want my identity in anything else that has nothing to do with God Center. Because then I drift everywhere, you know. Then there's reasons to argue. Oh, you ain't rocking with me like this. Oh, you ain't rocking with my idea or with this about it. Oh, uh, you're not wearing the the my habij or my habaj or you're not wearing my. You know what I mean? Like it starts arguments that we don't need. That's that's why I don't try to wrap my identity on this or that we just try to be lord everything you are i love it yeah there's gonna be things that i'm kind of like disagreeing <laughs> with and you gotta love me how i love me how you love you know what i mean and kind of bounce off of that because if not what that, that we i don't really care to argue you know what i mean if i don't have to you know what i mean if i gotta back myself up i'm gonna back myself up but besides that does that make sense yeah it does i, I on, guess that it's veering off the topic of culture a little bit but i get it like no benjamin and i are not really the type to like to argue yeah we bump heads all the yeah, time we bump heads, we we bump heads all the time y'all bink 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 but no we definitely try to steer clear of arguments especially unnecessary in arguments. culture yeah so i feel like we try to not in that interracial vibe we don't yeah like in the interracial vibe it was just for just fun in, guys but, i no, think no, it's no. just cute but we don't enjoy we enjoy we enjoy being interracial but we yeah. don't let that be a conflict yeah it's yeah, definitely yeah. not a conflict no we enjoy each other no i think it just comes down to us as a people yeah not just our national i just brought that up as like for fun and no and no if no it which is a good if topic it i enjoy conflict it. or anything but no it really boils down to the person the i person. feel like if you like to naturally you argue with, yeah. then that's gonna be a, a thing naturally hey, there's argue people, there's that people is like draining. that there let's be honest raise do. your hand if that's you if, if it's you, you comment know. down below i like to argue no i'm playing no I am like, y'all, drama drains me. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do no drama. I grew up in a big family, and boy, yeah, I like to be silent. Even though I talk a lot, I like to have my quietness all around me so I can yeah. feel peace. You know what I mean? If not, I feel like I got a headache. Sometimes I go to family functions, and I need to like walk out three times because of how much. I grew up in a lot of chat or it's just a lot my family's so big that it was kind of hard to get like a sl- a sliver of silence and a we talk sliver. loud we talk loud you yeah. know what i mean so <laughs> oh. Oh, blah, blah, blah. so i kind of like Ugh. y'all puerto rican y'all know how it is so yeah. i'm like Ugh. Uh. and i like kind of <laughs> left that so now that i'm not in that even though I, i'm telling you i love my people's but being in it, sometimes I get, like, overwhelmed. Like, whoa, this is a lot. I forgot this is what I'm used yeah. to. You know? I think the, another thing is the fact that we're both Americanized. Like, yeah, although we're mad we, Americanized. I'm Vietnamese and you're Puerto Rican. We're both American. Like, I love Southern American food, is, bro. like, a, a culture of its own. You know what I mean? The American culture. So, like, yeah. had I been, like, a person from Vietnam and had you been yeah, a person. Yeah, if I would have been from the island, big old difference. Differences, for sure. But it's definitely a blessing. At the end of the day, it's definitely a blessing being with someone different. 
because it expands my mind and Laura does not allow me to not try things. Uh-uh, you can't say you don't like it. You ain't even tasted it yet. <laughs> That's dumb. <laughs> but it's true. You know what I mean? I'm super picky. I'm super close-minded sometimes. And being that different mix allows me to grow and expand my mind and expand my thoughts and expand my views. But no, nah, that's interracial. Hey, y'all ain't in an interracial relationship. Give it out. Give it a try one time. Um, you ain't got to jump into no relationship all fast just to try things. I say take your time to be friends with people. And you can get to know someone without dating them you know what i mean yeah and i feel like you can you gotta have friends of different nationalities yeah, be, and be open that try up try be friends with everyone you know what i mean get with a Ghanaian. um meet a Ghanaian person right that's the word Ghanaian. Ghanaian. Ghanaian, and then meet a friend wait Ghanaian or gone gone Ga- oh, yeah it's we're Ghanaian. gonna say Ghanaian, and then someone from the netherlands is someone from from sweden or someone from oh. cambodia Ooh. back to the girl go you know what i mean meet be be, be open to try meet me meet second. with people Hopefully from all different races and all different backgrounds trust me you will it's 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 a little it's amazing it's something different and don't be closed-minded yes but so yeah else? so that's pretty much it so he's puerto rican i'm vietnamese <laughs> and we're of different backgrounds we're oh, we are married but no, it's just kind of like I have friends of all different ethnicities and backgrounds. Like growing up, I kind of was around a mix, a slur of all kinds of different races. I know some people, depending on your area, you're kind of you kind of only are around a certain race group. But I definitely feel like just being around different types of people, you learn a lot. You get a, like he said, you get a lot of exposure. You learn a lot about different foods different traditions different there's just so much to learn from everybody not even just because they're a different background but i definitely feel like like traveling okay. is a big way to get educated and experience new things but yeah guys so that's a little bit about our background that's i probably a little bit, talk, little bit. talk a little bit more about being um vietnamese what it's like being vietnamese um so I am first generation American. My mom actually came to America in 1990, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. So my brother was actually conceived in Vietnam, born in the States. So, <laughs> but I am first generation American, guys. And I am very grateful for that opportunity because I realized that we're fortunate to live here, you Amen. know. I but, agree. um, yeah, more on that later, guys, because that'll take us down another trail and another tunnel. But that was kind of today's podcast. Do you have anything else you want to add to I it? I am good, but I want to thank you guys again for tuning in. If you guys haven't yet subscribed, give it a subscription. Give Click it the a button. subscription. <laughs> Click that bell for notifications. Share with your friends, your grandma, your cousins. Your auntie, um, your, your friends, uncle, your, sc- your second cousin, your third cousin, and your seventh cousin. Everyone. Um <laughs> And... um. Post us everywhere. Post us everywhere. Um, if you um, give us a comment. Let us know what you're into. What you're not into. If you're in a relationship that's interracial, um, let us know. You, you, you know your 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 ins and your outs. Whatever you do like. Whatever you haven't liked. If we missed something that we could have expressed. Um, but now besides that, we love you guys. We thank you guys for tuning in once again. It's your boy benjamin and your girl laura and like we said guys leave us a comment down below because we are always open to topics guys right now we are coming up with what we want to share with you guys but we are open to what you guys want to hear yes thank you for tuning in guys welcome to the new subscribers welcome to the rick nam fam yeah if you guys enjoy this video be sure to share it give us a like and like you said post us everywhere baby we You're, love you. <laughs> we love you guys, and we'll see you on we'll our see next, you next time. video. Peace out. Peace. T-Town down, baby.